I think a lot of people are always like, oh, you know, you're a climber, you're a photographer, you're so lucky, you're doing what you love. They're also the two things that drive me the most insane because you're the most obsessed about them. They burn me as much as they exalt my kind of soul, right? You're really passionate about climbing something and you put your heart and soul into it and you train and you train, sometimes over years, and you fail. And I think every photographer probably has those moments. A lot of the things that I shoot are out in beautiful, immaculate landscapes that people have rarely visited. I've always seen my role is to kind of bring that back for people. Photography can also give a person a new perspective on their own context in the world. It's exploration on, on so many different levels. Now, there's always the physical exploration of like the landscape, the topography, the exploration of your physical limits, there's the exploration of what your mind can handle and manage. And then to add shooting to it, you add this whole kind of creative exploration. The biggest challenge for me is definitely trying to be creative under kind of physical duress. It's dumping snow. You just got to a camp and you're at 20,000 feet and the light is amazing, but you have to put up this portal edge where you can get in to spend the night and that takes a lot of time and you're hanging in your harness and you're wet and you pull out the camera and if you do, are you gonna get it out of frame? Because really you should be maybe five feet over but you'd have to unclip from the anchor to get the shot which is dangerous and you know, there's like, you're constantly like managing risk assessment. There's a lot of stuff going on um, and then you have to remember, oh right, I should probably pull out my camera and take a photo right now. <laughs>